Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Georgie, so happy to have you here. And welcome to day 21 of Wellness, your wellbeing advent calendar of tips and techniques to help you through the festive period. Now, today we are going to talk about the winter solstice. Today is the winter solstice in the Northern Hemisphere. It's the summer solstice in the Southern Hemisphere. But we're just gonna talk about the Northern Hemisphere because obviously that's where I am. So this is how that we can incorporate uh, elements of the winter solstice to promote our well-being. I'm going to do a video next year about um, the different uh, key points in the astrological year. So that will be the spring equinox, the summer solstice, the autumn equinox and the winter solstice. But essentially the winter solstice is the shortest day of the year. It is the day where we have the least daylight and we have the most amount of nighttime. And for me, this is my New Year's Eve. I don't really do New Year's Eve on the 1st of, of January because, I mean, yes, technically in the calendar, it's the new year. Um, but for me, the energy of the winter solstice is a lot more powerful and a lot more potent to do some of those things that we would normally reserve for New Year's, such as reflection and perhaps looking forward into the next year. And also, for me personally, I like to know this before I head into the new year. I want to start trying to build habits and look at ways I can build new habits or different things uh, before I actually start the new year. So I'm kind of already laying the groundwork and we will do a video, uh, Christmas Eve's video is going to be planning for 2023, but this video is going to be more reflecting on 2022. Another thing that I really like about the winter solstice and maybe it is... A message that we can hold on to if we do find the festive season quite a difficult time of year uh, if you are undergoing mental health problems as someone who has suffered depression and anxiety and mental health problems in the past and I'm quite open about this for me the winter solstice is a beautiful reminder that just because it's still dark doesn't mean it's not getting better. So the spring equinox is when the day and the night are exactly the same time of year. And obviously the summer solstice is the longest day of the year, so there's the most sunlight. But for me, the winter solstice, even though days are still much shorter, night is still much shorter, and the weather is still cold, it is it's the beginning of moving towards light. It's the beginning of moving towards warmth. It's the beginning of moving towards spring. It is that beautiful pre-dawn stage of the day where it's still nighttime, it's still dark, but you can just start to see that glow on the horizon. And I think that remembering that when we're going through difficult periods is really important that just because it might still feel difficult it might still feel hard it might still feel dark doesn't mean the light's not coming it doesn't mean that we're not coming through the other side so how can we uh use the winter solstice and you know take this moment to reflect on 2022 so the first thing we're going to do we're going to have like a slightly interactive session right now so what's going to happen is i'm going to pop the questions on the screen feel free to pause it i'll obviously talk about it whilst they're up and then you can make a note of them and then maybe either pause the video and fill it in as we go or just make a note and then you can come back to them and because I sometimes think as well, it's quite nice to ponder on them. So making the notes and have them in your head and then kind of go forward and come back to them as more and more things start to serve. What word or up to three words would you use to describe 2022? Uh, how would you summarize? It could be feelings, it could be uh, grief, it could be happiness, it could be joy, it could be 
surprise, it could be wonder, it could be opportunity, um, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be negative, maybe you've had a fantastic year and you know take a moment to really deeply dive into how you feel 2022 was for you and try to just narrow it down into one, two or three words. What have you accomplished this year? What things have you achieved that you are proud of? Is there anything that you have achieved in 2022 that your 2021 version didn't think you'd ever be able to do? What do we want to leave behind in 2022? So have there been difficult experiences and you want to just leave them and let them go this year? Uh, have you overcome difficulties and you're ready to, to move forward? How, maybe there's difficult relationships that you want to leave behind in 2022. Maybe there are uh, mindsets or thoughts or thinking patterns that you want to leave behind. Maybe bad habits that you want to leave behind. You know, maybe it's, it's smoking or, you know, whatever. So the next phase is reflecting on what we want. What, what have we enjoyed in 2022 that we want to continue? into 2023 what things are we ready to bring in to 2023 so take a moment to just think of some habits that you would like to cultivate this year and our last question is what words or three words up to three words would you like to use to summarize your 2023 how you want it to be so some of these things could be carefree, it might be laughter, it might be ease, flow, maybe creativity, maybe passion, inspiration, wellness. What what is the what is your vibe? What do you want your 2023 vibe to be? Thank you so much for joining me today. So that was reflections using the winter solstice as a starting point. Have a beautiful day and I will see you tomorrow for day 22 of wellness. If you have liked the video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more wellness yoga and meditation videos and I'll see you tomorrow.